Hey guys, this is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and today I want to talk to you about weed pre-emergence. It's late March. It's the perfect time to be talking about it. In this video, I don't want to talk about ideal times per se. I really want to answer the question, um, when is it all right? Is it okay? When is it, when is it okay to put weed pre-emergence, weed preventers down on the lawn? Because yes, there is an ideal time to do it, but let's be real, let's be honest with each other. Most people are not going to be able to get weed pre-emergence applied to their lawn at the exact perfect time of the year. So, let's dive into the topic a little bit. All right, now before we get into the meat of this video, I wanna get this off my chest right off the bat. The weeds that germinate in the spring are not necessarily the ones that we see in the spring. The weeds that we see in the spring usually germinated in the fall, we call them winter weeds because they kind of go dormant and then they come alive early in the spring. So those are not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the weeds that generally give us problems in the middle of the summer. Those are the ones germinating in the spring. Those are the ones that we're trying to prevent right now. Most of those summer weeds that germinate in the spring germinate when soil temperatures get up to about 55 degrees. Now, here's the thing. This is why there is like there is an optimal time to put down weed pre-emergence, but getting the timing wrong a little bit in either direction is probably okay. And here's why. The vast majority of weed seeds are not going to germinate before the soil temperature gets to 55 degrees, but some of them might. A few of them might start germinating in that 50 to 55 degree range. And then if you don't get your pre-emergent down when the soil temperatures are 55, 56, 57, if you wait till soil temperatures are 60, 61, 62, yes, of course, some of those weeds will have germinated, but not all of them. Now, I've got a video about Oh, seeding perennial rye at various temperatures in that video and I know it's a grass type and not a weed but it's an example of how seeds germinate at various temperatures as the temperature drops they will still germinate it just takes longer as the temperature increases they're more likely to germinate but not all of them will so to summarize the rest of the video right here I'm gonna say that if you get your weed pre-emergent down before uh, soil temperatures are 55 degrees, you're going to be fine. Uh, you're going to lose a little bit of efficacy with the product that you're using because all of the products work best when they're first applied to the ground. After weeks go by and even months in some cases, um, the products still continue to work, but nowhere near as strong as when they were first applied. So if you don't think you can get your product down at the right time, let's say for instance you're on vacation or something, or maybe you've got bad weather, or whatever the reason is, um, if you can't get it down at the optimal time, it is acceptable to put some down, put some weed pre-emergent down a little bit early. You're gonna be fine, you'll lose a little bit of efficacy, but you will stop some of those early weeds from germinating. Now, conversely, later in the season let's say for instance let's say for instance you live down south like way down south i mean right now this is late march uh many places around the country have had soil temperatures over 55 degrees for weeks already um, if you have not put weed pre-emergent down yet you're still going to be fine doing it now a lot of those weed seeds have already germinated but there have there are a lot of additional weed seeds that have yet to germinate so true if you put it down now you will have missed some of the weeds but getting some of them is better than nothing so if you're putting down weed pre-emergent um, when soil temperatures are past 55 degrees even past 60 or 65 degrees you're still going to be getting some good control over the late season the, the late spring the late bloomers um, in the weed category um, it's worth it. Now, I'd also like to kind of add on here. I don't want to go into the products that you're going to put down in this video. I have an entire video about weed pre-emergence, how to stop and prevent weeds before they happen. I suggest you go take a look at it. It's going to be up here 
Here, I'll put it down in the description below too. Uh, make sure to watch that because depending on where you live, what grass type you have, uh, how long of protection you want, uh, that's going to influence the decision that you make on which pre-immersion to buy. Now, it's really easy to sit there and say, oh, just go buy this one product and put it down and just call it call it a day that's not going to work for everybody some warm season grasses um, can only take certain pre-emergence um, if you're going to be overseeding later on in the year you don't want a pre-emergent that's going to last too long into your overseeding window there's lots of scenarios where it's going to influence the choice that you make as to which product you put down so Make sure to watch that video because it goes thoroughly in depth. All right, now let's get back to the main question at hand. When is it acceptable? When's it okay to put down weed pre-emergent on the lawn? Uh, I'm going to start by going extremely general, then I'll tighten it up a little bit further into this video. Uh, but I'm not going to get really specific. Generally speaking, I like to tell people who live way down south, where it's always hot. Deep South, Gulf Coast, Lower Texas, uh, Extreme Southwest. Um, these kinds of areas, soil temperatures get over 55 pretty early in the season. Generally speaking, places like that, if your, so if your grass goes dormant, especially uh, in those areas, your soil temperatures are going to get up over 55 probably in February. So some of these farthest south places, generally speaking, a good ballpark estimate of when you're putting down pre-emergence is February. But here we are late March, so if you haven't done it yet, you can still do it. Um, you will have missed some of the weeds, but go for it anyway if you want to prevent what weeds are left to germinate. Now if you go a little bit north of those southern like hot zones, that's what we call the transition zone. In this zone we can find some places that are running cold season grasses and other places that are running warm season grasses. So it's hard to really tell uh, soil temperatures by the color of the grass. You kind of got to know the actual temperature. For me, I like to use a compost thermometer. I have a long stem compost thermometer that I use to check my soil here in the, in the lawn. Now, if you're not going to go out and buy a thermometer um, and you can't really gauge the temperature uh, of the soil by looking for green up, another way of doing it is to jump online and go to the Greencast tool. They'll give you a ballpark estimate of, of soil temperatures uh, to the day in pretty much any region of the United States. Now, generally, if you look, if you were to draw like a, a horizontal line across the United States from about Washington, D.C. and kind of slope it down on an angle a little bit um, all the way over towards Amarillo, Texas, anything below that line and north of like the deep south is going to experience that transition in temperature, uh, soil temperatures, uh, probably in the month of March. Uh, by late March, you know, the closer north, closer to that line you get as you go north, the later in March you're going to get. Now, as you go above to the north of that, let's say you're going up into Ohio and northern and into like Iowa, northern Missouri, I was going to say, uh, Nebraska, uh, those places are going to be at the end of March and early April. And a lot of the mountain zones um, are going to be uh, probably in uh, the mid-April time frame, maybe early April. These are all general rule of thumbs. Now, if you want to put your pre-emergent down a little bit early in any of these zones, it's going to be okay. You just have to be willing to sacrifice the effectiveness in those first few weeks of application because those first few weeks, if you're putting it down early, it's not going to stop anything from germinating because they're not ready to germinate yet. Now, as you get late into the season, let's say you're late in the game or you just forgot or you're new to lawn care, uh, let's say you're watching this in May and you've got nice warm days and everything's growing like crazy and soil temperatures are warm, it's still a reasonable thing to do to put this stuff down. You're not going to risk anything by putting a pre-emergent down late in the spring. Now, weed killers, on the other hand, you have to be aware of uh, outside daytime temperatures and a lot of other factors when you're putting when you're trying to spray something on a living plant to kill it but preventing it is not that big of a deal of course the later in the season you get you you're gonna miss most of the weeds so just bear that in mind the later it gets the more of a waste of product it's going to be now again 
I'm really talking general stuff here. Um, and that's purposeful. If you are living up north and uh, your grass is still dormant, then that's fine. My grass is mostly dormant right now. I'm not putting stuff down. There's a reason why I'm not showing you me applying product because my lawn isn't ready for it. Uh, my soil temperatures here are about 44, maybe 45 degrees, depending on where I put my thermometer into the ground. Uh, we're not ready yet. In another like couple weeks, we might be. We're going to have a, some really warm weather this weekend. However, next week it's going to cool back off again, get down into the low 20s mm -hmm. overnight. So it still takes time. Uh, down on my website, I'm going to list out, generally speaking, the, the zones of the United States uh, that come into that pre-emergent window um, based on the time of year. It's not precise. Uh, for precision, you need to check your own soil temperatures uh, with your own thermometers, uh, with your own methods, um, or you need to trust the daily soil temp maps uh, that Greencast provides. Uh, you can just Google image search and find um, cool season, warm season, transition zone maps to kind of get a, a ballpark estimate of where you live. Uh, and that is also going to help a little bit. But for the most part, if it's late February to early April, everybody is really going to be putting down pre-emergence in that window of time. It's like about a six to seven week window for the whole country. So just think about it. Are you cold in the morning or are you warm in the morning? That's going to give you a good estimate as the perfect time. If you want to go a couple weeks before or after, you're going to be fine. Uh, take a look at the weed prevention video. It is right here. Uh, this is how you prevent weeds. This is where I actually talk about the products and the details. I hope that helps a lot. Uh, down in the description, I'm going to put another couple links to a couple other supplemental videos that are going to give you more actionable tips, uh, a little bit more detailed information. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video down the road.